Hey guys, it's me King Diablo and in today's video I'll show you a full skill review of all the skills for the newly released Igneous class. So before starting the video, just keep one thing in mind that the passive skill for uh, Igneous class has a flow which when activated it buffs the water based skill and when deactivated it uh, uh, buffs the fire based skill. This is the first skill for Igneous class. This skill does days on first hit and knockdown on last hit. This skill has super armor but it's not applied in arena. Also when the flow for the passive skill is active, this uh, skill performs an additional attack by consuming 80 mana points. This additional attack deals same damage as the skill, does up to 5 hits, has invincibility but it's not applied in arena. Also this additional attack deals days on hit. This skill has a good area of effect and can be used for both PvE and PvP. This is especially good for PvE farming and mass PvP. It is one of the high damage skills for Igneous class 2. This is the second skill for Igneous class. This skill has super armor and it does days on first hit and knockdown on last hit. When the flow for passive skill is turned off, the attack range of the skill increases. This skill also has a healing flow and an additional flow which uh, basically uh, lets you charge up the attack for the skill. So when the flow of the skill is activated, you can normally one tap the skill to use the both the attacks of the skill quickly uh, and it deals 100% skill damage as the skill normally would even if you deactivated the flow. But uh, when you turn on the flow, you can charge up the attack of the skill. So if you charge it up one time, it increases the skill damage of the skill uh, from 100% to 150%. And uh, if you charge it up up to two times, it increases the skill damage of the skill from 100% to 200%. Charging up the attack for the skill also increases the attack range of the skill by additional 20%. This is a really good skill for PvP and the range of this skill is somewhere in between uh, low range to mid range. This is the third skill for Igneous class. This skill has super armor but it's not applied in arena and it does knock down on successful hit. When the passive skill flow is turned off, you can keep the skill icon pressed for this skill to consume 80 mana points and perform an additional attack. This additional attack hits one more target than the, no than the skill normally would and uh, this additional attack does same damage as the skill, does up to 5 hits and has invincibility but it's not applied in arena. This skill has a huge area of effect and is the best uh, damage skill for Igneous class. This skill is really important for both PvE and PvP for Igneous class. This is the fourth skill for Igneous class. This skill does knock back on it. The range of the skill is uh, somewhere in between low to mid range uh, and can be used for combos if you want to. But I would suggest not using it for PvP. You can also use this skill for PvE farming uh, but I would suggest not using this skill for anything. This is the fifth skill for Igneous class. This skill does turn on hit and has super armor. Also this skill has an additional attack flow. When this flow is active, uh, you can uh, keep the skill icon pressed to perform an additional attack. This additional attack deals same damage as the skill, does up to 3 hits and uh, it has super armor and does uh, turn on hit. This additional attack will consume 30 mana points. This is a good skill for PvP and boss rush. Ah! 
This is the sixth scale for igneous class. This scale does turn on first state and knock down on last state. This scale can penetrate up to five enemies in its way. Although the range of this scale is uh, in between mid to long ranged, I would suggest only using it for PvE stuff. This is because the skill animation of the scale is really slow and by the time it reaches your opponent in PvP, they will run away easily. This is the seventh scale for igneous class. This scale does bound on hit and does forward guard but it's not applied in arena. This is a slightly mid range scale and has two charges which can be used simultaneously. Also this scale has a flow which lets you switch the forward guard of the scale to super armor and it also has another flow which increases the casting time of the scale but it also increases the attack range of the scale by 35%. This scale has a really good DPS and can be used for PvP and PvE both. Uh, but the range of this scale is not that high. This is the 8th scale for Igneous class and it says Grab scale. So when you grab the enemy successfully by using this scale, it does bound on hit. This scale has super armor before you grab the enemy and invincibility after you grab the enemy. Also when you grab the enemy successfully, all the damage and the CC effects of this skill is also applied to all the enemies near your grabbed opponent. This is obviously a good skill for PvP. This is the 9th scale for igneous class. This scale does knock back to all the opponents uh, that you touch while moving with this scale. And the end of the skill animation it does knock down. This scale has super armor but it's not applied in arena and when the passive skill flow is active the movement distance of the skill increases. This is a really good scale for mass pvp and boss rushes. Uh, but uh, you can also use this for 1v1 but I don't like using it for 1v1 as the skill animation is really slow. This is the 10th scale for igneous class. This scale does days on hit and does invincibility but it's not applied in arena. This is a really good scale for mass pvp and can also be used for arena pvp. This is the 11th skill for igneous class and it says buff skill.
This is the basic attack scale for igneous class. Now this is the passive scale for igneous class. Now the passive scale also has a flow which is uh, which can be turned on and turned off uh, in order to switch around the buffs that the passive scale gives. But the main buff of the passive scale is not affected by the flow. The main buff of the passive scale basically reduces the damage you receive from other players by 15% for 15 seconds. And this buff can be activated by using the fire and the water skill simultaneously. You can just use any fire and any water skill one after another to keep this buff active forever. So when the flow of this skill is active, it buffs certain water based skill like I mentioned previously in this video. And when the flow of the skill is deactivated, it buffs certain uh, fire based skill that I previously mentioned in the video. But apart from that, you can also inflict certain debuffs to your opponent and buffs to yourself by using fire or water type skills uh, and you can switch them around by using this flow. And these buffs and debuffs level up with your skill levels. So when the flow of the passive skill is turned on and you use a water based skill on your, on your opponent, it uh, reduces their movement speed by 0.3% and it stacks up. Uh, with your level skill level so if the water skills that you are using on your opponent is level 10 the then it reduces the movement speed of your opponent by 3% each stack and it stacks up to 15% this debuff lasts for 10 seconds also when you're using uh, water based skills on your opponent it increases the damage your opponent receives from other players by 0.3% which stacks up with your skill level uh, so at level 10 skill it increases uh, the damage your opponent received from other players by 3% uh, which stacks up to 15% and lasts for 10 seconds. Now when the flow for the passive skill is turned off and you use a fire based skill it increases the skill damage of all your skills by 0.2% and this buff uh, levels up with your skill level. So at level 10 fire uh, based skills, it will give you a buff of 2% uh, increase in all your skill damage, which will stack up to 10% and last for 10 seconds. Also, when using fire based skills on your opponent, it inflicts uh, 20 burn damage on them, uh, which uh, increases with your skill level. So so if you are using level 10 fire based skills on your opponent, it will inflict 200 burn damage each time and will stack up to 1000 burn damage. So at maximum stack it will inflict 1000 burn damage to your opponent every 2 seconds for 10 seconds. Now I personally love the passive skill buff for the fire based skills so I always use the fire based passive skill effects. But the water based passive skill effects can also be really good. Now let's see the dodge animation for igneous class. Now let's see the black spirit skills for igneous class. So far I have tested this class for both PvP and PvE and I can say that this class is really good for PvE stuff and also it is really good for mass PvP. But for uh, Arena, if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. I will see you in the next video.